What up dudes? My name is TDC and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Poopin' Evolve server. Hopefully you guys are having a good day today. We, it's actually been a while man. How are you, you guys doing okay? Did you miss me? It's been, it's been a while. <laughs> I haven't been able to log on. I've been so busy with work and uh, Thanksgiving and stuff last week. Hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving man. What'd you do? What'd you eat? Did you eat anything good? Uh, for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. For everybody else, hopefully you had a wonderful Thursday. I mean, it was a good day. Thursday is a pretty solid, solid day. <laughs> but yeah, so I have been a little bit busy. We actually streamed a couple of nights ago. And if you weren't part of that, go follow me on Twitch, man. Twitch.tv slash ThatDudeChaos. We did quite a bit of stuff, man. We played some catch-up and we went around searching for a Dodicarus because today... I want to try to set up some sort of stone farm and I think I can do it I think we're gonna kind of figure it out as we go I don't know too much about the mechanic here but it should be kind of cool for us to mess around with I think it's gonna be fun but let me show you what we've done so far so basically the reason I want to set up some sort of stone farm is we're gonna be doing some building we need to start expanding our base a little bit we need to do something move out of this house over there get you know get something better for these dinos over here we gotta make some sort of really rad dino farm and uh, ultimately the idea that I have going on here is I would like to will probably keep these two buildings but over here in this area I would like to probably rip all of this stuff out and redo it once we get kind of some more area some more room but I would like to build our main base up here and then I would like to have an elevator and stuff like that going down to this platform here and have another big kind of area for some of the bigger dinos and then maybe I don't think we're really going to need that much room, but maybe go back down to this lower level here. It's kind of like a three-tier base, but that's going to be huge. It's going to be a lot of work, and uh, we basically just need to minimize the amount of work we're doing. So today I want to set up some sort of automated stone farm, and I'm thinking we're going to do it in this area here. Now when I say automated, you can set the dodex to wander, and they will harvest any stone in their way. And I'm thinking this is a pretty good spot here. There's quite a few stones. I would really like to find an area with a bunch of these small stone patches. And I think that this is the spot because there's a lot of them. Now, it just seems to me that the yield... What is this thing? Is that just a rock? It is just a rock. It kind of looks like a building or something, doesn't it? Like from over here, it kind of looked like walls. Like concrete walls. <laughs> um, but yeah, so with these smaller patches of rock, the yield is actually much higher than these big ones. So by that, what I mean by yield is if I harvest this guy right here, we got... Oh, actually, I'm using the wrong tool. That is a bad example. It's been a little while. Forgive me. <laughs> Let's go to this dude right here. We use the stone or the axe to get... Let's see how much stone we get from this. 46 stone, right? Seems like quite a bit. And, but then you come over here to these little guys. And it's probably going to prove me wrong. But these little guys, we got like 25 more stone out of that whole thing. And it seems like that's probably the way to go. Now I'm hoping Dodix actually harvests these little piles of stone. I think they will. But we'll just have to do some testing and find out. But that's kind of the plan. We're going to kind of wall the whole place off. We're going to build some walls up around the area here. Hopefully we can build it far enough away that the stone will actually respawn. Because for those of you who don't know, I guess like if you build structures and stuff near things that you can harvest, they won't respawn. That way there's no like glitching or interfering between the two. Something you place down and something that naturally spawns. Um... Now I'm hoping we can actually build stuff far enough away that things will respawn and we can make this uh, somewhat advantageous for us. I think it'll be nice. Man, it's so glitchy around here. I gotta do something with all the dinos. All the dinos are killing me, man. I cannot wait to build a new computer. Ugh. I think we're gonna do uh, try to build a new one by the end of the year. Hopefully, maybe, tax return time. I'm not real sure. The sooner the better, though, because this game is killing my computer. It's killing it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so we got a Dodic taming up over here. Let's go take a look make sure he, actually, she is still doing okay. I grabbed a female. That way we could tame it up with Rolly over there, and we could actually get a couple more of these guys if we need to. So I think two would actually be fine, but the more the merrier, right? Um, so this one was the highest level that I could find. We found a level 64 Dodic. And I flew around for about an hour this afternoon. We flew around for about like an hour and a half last night on stream trying to find a high level one. And I haven't found anything higher than a level 64. 
So that is crazy. And I just snagged this one because it was the highest one that I found. And I brought it over and we just started taming it up. So it's about halfway there. And I had one piece of kibble left from the Ankleo that I tamed the other day. But I don't have any cooked meat jerky right now. So I couldn't make any more kibble. I've got a few dillo eggs and different things like that for the dillo kibble. Which is what we need. But the only thing I'm missing is the cooked meat jerky. Now I know Minis probably has some. But I'm not going to. I'm not worried about it. We're just going to tame him up the old fashioned way using berries. I think it should be good. But yeah, so I guess what we're going to do right now is I am going to work on crafting a bunch of walls. I have a bunch of fence foundations. And uh, oh, I guess that's another thing I should tell you about too. We're starving to death slowly. Do I have any food on me? I don't. It's all rotted. Oh well, well, we'll be hungry for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so I started work on the actual wall around the plateau. Now, Menace has started on his wall on that side, and I think we're just going to try to continue it. I'm going to copy his design, kind of mimic his design that he's come up with. We Let's grab some food real quick, and then we'll head over there, and I'll show you what he's got going on. So we're just gonna, basically going to be building a huge wall around the top of the plateau, and I think it's going to be kind of the best thing for us. Do I have any meat? I need to make a meat run, man. I've got no food. Everything has gone bad. Uh, let's do that. Perfect. And, uh, but yeah, so we're basically just going to be mimicking his design around the whole top of the plateau. So just kind of make the whole area just a little bit safer. Oh, that one's up there. And I think it actually looks pretty cool, man. He spent a little bit of time kind of working out a cool little design. It's nothing too fancy, and it's nothing too show buddy, but that's what I like about it. So it's kind of nice, and it's pretty effective, man. The frames are terrible today. I apologize. But he has been busy, man. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. He's got an egg farm going now, which is really cool. But yeah, so this is what we're going to copy. This little fence design here. We're probably going to end up putting in one of the behemoth gates, these big dudes here. But this right here is the most important thing. Just kind of a wall, walled off area. And he's used the stone, stone walls, the stone doors, I think door frame is what they're called. Another stone wall. And then up there he has the, I think it's the wooden fence foundation. And on top of that is the stone fence, which is actually pretty cool. Or stone railing, I think is what it's called. Uh, but it's a really simple little design and it looks awesome. But we definitely need a lot of stone for it. Now that we've got the mammoths and stuff like that, we got plenty of ways to get wood. And uh, maybe, I don't know if you can actually set the mammoths up the same way as you can the dodix to collect wood. But that would be pretty cool too. But we got we got plenty of wood, man. Wood is not a problem anymore. We got plenty of forest on that side and then over here on this side as well. So stone is just kind of really the only big issue. And it takes forever. So the plan is to just build that pin down there. Let them harvest their stone. I'll probably set up a whole bunch of extra chests. And I'll probably just go down there and kind of empty their inventories for a little while. And then just let them go back at it. So it should be pretty neat. I'll be able to do that over the next couple of days. And then I think we should be able to get our building on par, man. Get this going. So it should be pretty cool. But I'm going to work on crafting up the walls. I'm going to wait for this dodic to tame up. And then when we come back, we are going to start building. Alright, so this dude is going to take a little while. We're just going to leave him here. We are going to close the doors just in case he wakes up. I just fed him some narcotic, but I don't think he's going to. We shouldn't be gone too long. But we're going to head down. We're going to start building up the foundation a little bit for the area that I would like to start working. We're going to take old Flappy. Ye old Flappy. And uh, we're going to throw a bunch of stuff on him. So where are those walls? Oh, they're here. So I built 37 walls. That's probably not going to be enough. But let's do that. We're going to grab our foundations. They're here. We're not going to be able to carry that many. Let's do half. 32, 37. I think that should be alright for right now. Uh, but yeah, so this should actually be a pretty cool idea. It's going to be a fun project. I'm kind of excited to start working on it. I'm excited to do building, man. I really want to get into the building aspect of this game. Uh, dinos are cool, but I think for me, building is going to be kind of the perk to this game. Like, I feel, I don't know, I feel like I've had the most fun building in this game and not really taming the dinos. I like fighting the dinos and doing all the cool stuff when I can find alphas and stuff like that I like to go battle those dudes but I think building is going to be kind of the main the bees knees for me in this game so this is the area that we would like to start building I believe Flappy what are you doing man Flappy likes to do some weird things alright so let's take half of these fence foundations and I think we are going to let's put this on 
four. And let's do this. We need to pull our crossbow, wherever that was, right here with our spyglass. And I find it's a lot easier to line things up when you have a crossbow out. Because you had like a little crosshair thing. And you know what? Let's get a better, better look of where we want to build this thing. So I'm thinking this is a pretty solid area. There's a lot of stone to be collected. And I think if we come out kind of like right along the side of that darker colored rock right over there, and then come straight out kind of to the edge of this cliff, build a wall out this way, and then over to that tree. Man, we're definitely not gonna have enough materials to finish this uh, right now anyway. But yeah, so we come over to that tree and then we come straight back up into this cliff here. I think we should be good. Now the idea is we're going to have the doe dicks down here collecting stone. And then I'm probably going to tame up a bunch of raptors or some more dire wolves to kind of protect these guys. That's the plan anyway. Uh, so if we do four, let's do this. We can start. Can we really start all the way up here? I don't think we need to be all the way up here. Can't place out of placement range what does that mean oh I can't be too far away from it got it got it uh, let's pull this one all the way up here like so and if we come out like that whoop uh, these fence foundations are kinda of buggy man I hate placing these things it should snap but it wants to snap to the corner like that. I don't like it. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not going to be like down here looking at it at all the time. But we would like it to be somewhat straight. See that one will snap there. That one's not going to snap there. Let's just do it like that. And we'll do that one like that. And from here I think it should be cake. Maybe. Maybe. This rock might be in the way. Yeah, let's try getting rid of this rock. Get out of here, man. Yeah, dude. Building in this game, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty annoying sometimes. Because of little derpy things like this. Trying to line things up and they don't want to line up. Which is a little annoying, but... I think for the most part it should be pretty cool. Um, okay, let's pull this guy out. Will you snap here? It may be too low. So if we come out just a little bit further, right about there, I think we should be good. Alright, so you can see that that one snapped. And then from here they should snap fairly easily. Very, fairly easy. <laughs> uh, a little bit in front, there we go. Like so, now. There we go. Yeah, so this could actually take a little while. I am going to start work on this. I'll bring you guys back in. Uh, this thing has gotta be getting close now. <laughs> it is so close. Uh, one more eat, two more eats maybe? I'm not real sure. It is taking forever. Okay, one more eat. Hopefully it doesn't run out of torpor by then. I have fed this dude 50 narcotics. And I refuse to feed you anymore. You're just a tank. You're just going to eat everything. I think you should be good. I got the fence foundation all complete. All the way around. Now we just need to start laying down the walls. I think in total it took maybe about 170 fence foundations all the way around. So it's a pretty big area. I think it should be pretty cool. But I want to get this guy down there almost immediately that way he can start harvesting some stone because we're gonna need it man we are going to need it for sure alright come on what is it like every 30 so 74 there 73 72 71 70 69 there we go we got him uh, we're just gonna leave him be for right now yeah, so let's go. I want to make sure that Rolly is a male. I think he is. But we can actually breed these dudes up and get some more stone collectors for us, which I think will be really handy. What are you doing, dude? 
Is this the one? Yeah, he finally got out. But he is just chilling over here. He wants to be a part of this so bad. Uh, Rolly, you dude? Yeah, you're a dude. Okay, good. All right. So, let's head back down there. I need to grab... Actually, I think we got a ton of walls on him right now. Let's see. We got 37 walls. That's not going to be nearly enough. But, that's okay. So, uh, let's, let's, let's fly up. Let's fly up. Let's go. Let's go take a look. I actually... I haven't seen an aerial view of this yet. So, we'll see if we can actually see it. So, you can barely make it out over there you can see that there's a line going all the way across and then right in between those two big rocks here this one right where flappy's head is and right there there is a line that goes through there and then it comes around and then it goes up this way kind of follows the water pipe just a little bit so you can barely 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 see it but it goes all the way back up this way and meets up with this uh cliff side right there so i think we should be good even if we do lose a few of them from knocking out the spawns i think it should be okay all in all but we'll find out it's going to be just kind of a test run and uh i'm sure that we will get some stone from all of this it doesn't have to be a whole bunch but i think it'll be pretty good um are we still over encumbered yeah we are let's take about half of these and put those there and we can start laying these guys down so this should be pretty cool i'm going to give you guys just kind of the basic rundown of what this is going to look like and then uh i'm going to try what am I building? Oh, I'm building a wooden club. That's not exactly what I wanted to make, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start laying this down a little bit. Is that... That way. Okay, there we go. Are you, are you, are you for real right now? Are you for real? I hate how you can't hardly see what you're placing or which way you're facing it. Okay, so like that, this is going to take forever. Like that, this is really like the only way to see what you're placing this way. There we go. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that's right. All the way. Perfect. Perfect. So, oh, this guy followed us. Hey, what up, dude? <laughs> I forgot we had to turn him off follow. All right, are you okay? Let's just tell you to stay for right now. We will get you going here soon. I want to block off at least like one corner before we set you on wander. Just that way you don't wander off too far. All right. So, I'm probably going to have to turn every single one of these around, aren't I? I guess I place the fence foundations the opposite way. Uh, like that. And like that. No, like this. There we go. Uh, we're already out of walls. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and turn you to wander. I want to see you in action. Let's drink some water. And if we do this, enable wandering. think you should be good to go so tamed out at level 93 let's check your stats here you have uh, an attack of 329 which is not great and your weight is only 285 which is awful but let's see are you gonna are you gonna do it <gasps> you gotta do it all right how much stone did you get from that 47 stone that is not terrible there we go I want to see he had 47 he gets a lot more from these little dudes. Are you going to harvest completely? Yeah, you are. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn you off. I just I don't want you to walk off. <laughs> oh, but dude, this is going to be awesome. So we just harvested those two parts of stone right there. So hopefully we'll see if those spawn back. Probably won't be able to see if they spawn back anytime soon because it takes, I think, a couple hours or something. But it should be pretty good. Oh, man. All right. I'm going to get started on the wall. I'm going to try to get at least one layer done. And then I think I'm going to try to make this two tall. That way, maybe three tall. I'm not real sure. We may do two stone and then, like, one wood across the top um, just to save on resources a little bit.
but we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna get busy. I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, so the wall is almost completely done. Uh, except for this last little bit here. I need to figure out how we can close this gap. <laughs> um, not really saying that anything can get through here. It's just kind of a completionist thing. I need to finish it. And for whatever reason, I had to kind of bow out like this and pull it back in. It could, I couldn't get it to go straight from this one all the way across. I guess the hill was just too bulky or something. I don't know. Kind of annoying. But we have one wall all the way around. So I think we should be safe now to let these uh, Dodix just come down here and do their thing. It should be pretty awesome. We're going to go grab those guys and drop them off. And I think between now and maybe a couple episodes from now, I would like to try to breed them up and get a couple more. Oh, man, how nice would it be to get triplets with the Dodix? That would be awesome. And then we could just, like, triple our stone gathering here. Oh, man, that would be fantastic. But, uh, yeah, so I think we're all completely safe on this side. They shouldn't be able to get out. Now, I'm still worried about things getting in. I don't think anything can really get in, but for some of the bigger dinos and stuff like that, I don't know if they can like step over these walls and I've always heard like free high is how you protect protect from like sight from bigger carnos and stuff like that. I'm not real sure, but I would like to build it up just a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. So, that's what we're going to do. But right now, let's go grab these dudes and we will pull them down here and just kind of watch them work and see how this does. So, let's head up. I pulled the other one back up here just because I didn't want him to really get in the way or get lost or anything while we were working. So, we will grab him or her. I keep calling it a him or her. I always get the sexes wrong. I'm just going to call them dudes from now on. Alright, did we get it? We got it. Okay, let's pull this over here. And we will drop it off down here. It actually looks pretty cool, man. I like it. It's like a nice little fortressy area. And we will drop you off there. And let's go grab Roly. Should be cool. And then Menace, if you're watching too, this is obviously something you can use too. If we, uh, what's going on over here? Oh, it's a bird. I don't see too many birds up here. That's kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, so this is obviously up for grabs too from you if you need to come collect a bunch of stone and uh, if you want to come over and check on them every now and then, maybe un unload them. That'd be nice too. <laughs> and I don't think the, I know the Anklos, they gather stone and stuff too, like flint and stone. I think. They may not grab, gather stone. I'm not real sure how that works, but um, maybe we can drop them off too down there. But I don't know if they harvest when they wander. That'd be a good thing to test. But, alright, let's grab you, Rolly. Come on. Let's get you over there. Did I get you? Yeah, I got you. Alright, so Rolly is a much higher level than the other one. He was a level 116, I believe, when we tamed him up. And he probably needs to level up, too. So we will drop him off and see if we can level him up a little bit. Uh, are you far enough away from these guys? You're, like, sitting right on top of them. Let's move you a little bit more this way. There we go. Like so. And do you need to level up yet? Yeah. You level up? Yeah, you level up. Um, I really feel like we should bump the weight on this guy first. And then start on the attack damage. I'm not sure if the attack damage thing still applies. I'm, I don't understand how exactly that works. But we will bump the melee damage on this dude. On Rolly. A few. Okay, so that's up to five. There we go, 543, that's not terrible. And let's set these dudes to wander, and we will watch these guys work a little bit. Oh, they may, they may mate too. That'd be kind of funny. But I don't think so. It'll be really, really lucky if they actually get pregnant somehow from just wandering around collecting stone. That'd be funny. <laughs> We may end up with some baby doe dicks after all. No, it looks like they'll wander away from each other fast enough. Okay. So, they're just going to do their thing. Rolly, let's watch your stone gathering. Oh, you already finished. So, 185. I think he was empty. So, 193. It's not terrible. 
I guess the real test would be we'll come back overnight and uh, oh wow okay yeah you got a lot of stone was that like 126 like within seconds now what happens when they fill up though are they gonna just get to where they can still walk around and then stop collecting or how does that work how much stone you got yeah you got quite a bit I need to set up a food trough down here too so they don't starve because I'm sure that this uses up a little bit more more uh, food and stuff than it normally would what are you doing get to work <laughs> weight is at 183 of 296 but it didn't harvest any of that stone all right what are you doing Rolly are you just full now so 400 of 693 you shouldn't be full but he's not harvesting I wonder why so if I take some of this stone out, are you going to harvest now? It'd be nice if there was a way that you could get them to drop their stone off. This would be like fully automated. We need hoppers, man. Minecraft hoppers. Are you going to harvest? No, you're going to poop. Okay, if I take some more stone out of you, now are you going to harvest? Oh, okay, so there is a limit. How much? 98, okay, so let's take some more stone. If that's the case, man, we're going to need like 20 more of these. <laughs> this is going to... Uh... Oh! Oh, watch it, watch it. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so we're going to need a whole bunch more of these. So we're going to have to work on breeding these dudes up. But that is super quick, man. That's going to be super handy. I will probably pick a spot somewhere along the edge over here where there's not a whole bunch of stone. And I will set up a whole line of chests, double chests. And I will come down here like every couple of hours or so and unload them. And then that way we can just start hoarding stone. It's going to be awesome. So one more thing before we go. I want to bring Jeff down here Jeff needs to be he needs to be put to work man he's just been a bum and I think I got the perfect job for him so let's see let's go land oh look at all those eggs I need to grab those uh, eggs give me the eggs so many eggs give me there we go wonderful wonderful Jeff let's see we are going to pull you out Okay, I'm too heavy for Jeff. Let's drop our... Actually, I don't want to drop stone now. Uh, can we just get off of you? There we go. And let's put this on Monica for right now. Monica, you hold my stone, okay? Thank you for holding my stone. And let's pull Jeff out. Ooh. And then we're going to take him down there. He's going to be kind of some protection for just a little while. And I think it'll keep the guys a little bit safer. I'm not sure what kind of random spawns we're going to be getting on the inside of that stone pin. But I'm sure there'll be some dillos and um, other things like that. I think that will be kind of a nuisance to the dodicks. I don't think they really need protecting because they can protect themselves. But Jeff is lazy and he needs to start losing some weight. <laughs> Alright Jeff, let's do this. Let's see what you got. We're going to drop you off down here. And hopefully he doesn't escape. That would be kind of a bummer. But these guys kind of, kind of go all over the place. Can you? There you go. And. Alright, you're level 160. So. We're going to set you to neutral. And we will set you to enable wandering. Now, I think you should be good. Yeah, there you go. But I just hope that he doesn't get out somehow. I'm sure that they will be able to find some way out. So I need to hurry up and finish up the walls. And uh, at least get them one higher for tonight. So that's what I'm going to work on. Oh, yeah. See how easy I just got out? I just jumped over. <laughs> Not that they jump, but you can see how easy it would be. 
But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much going to do it, dudes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your support on the ARC series, man. You guys love this stuff. I love playing it. Sorry I haven't been around so much the last couple of weeks. Hopefully things will start changing. And uh, now that the Christmas season is here, my work is supposedly supposed to start to, like, slow down a little bit. Which is going to be super nice because the last few years, work has been crazy. And I have not been able to do videos at all. But hopefully this should be fun. Oh, Jeff. Do not go over to that corner. Do not. Okay. Come back this way. <laughs> but yeah. So hit the like button for me down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Poopin' Evolved server. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. All right. Peace.